Do you suffer from none but when you ride your bike long distances? Stick around and I'll show you an option that you'll probably want to buy. Okay, I rode from Knoxville, Tennessee to Myrtle Beach. I think I ran probably around 95, 100 miles before I got numb butt. So, the further I went, the less that mileage went down. And it happens. It didn't, everybody's going to have probably different mileage with different bikes. Mine's a 2016 breakout. And it's a soft tail, so I mean, I got stock suspension, stock seat. Those two things is probably what needs to be upgraded first. But I will make an argument, throw an exhaust in before those. But when I was at Barefoot Landing, I went to JMP Cycles and I picked up the Saddleman's gel seat cushion. And it helped. It almost doubled my mileage before getting fatigued and having to pull over. The strap simply, you know, Velcros to it and holds it on. You're sitting on top of it. It's got kind of a... I'm wondering if this is with the same material as their gripper. Are the panels on their gripper seats? It could be. I wonder... Uh, that may be the gripper seat material. I'm not 100% sure on that. But it's got, feels like two layers of gel and then some foam. Actually, I don't even feel foam, I feel all gel. So, with this being 100, let's say $110, that's if you go to the store and pick it up. Um, I almost doubled my mileage. Almost, I was probably, 10 and 15 miles shy of doubling it before I couldn't take it no more and just had to get off and stretch my legs. But this is a simple install. I don't know all, every bike these work on, but it comes with these hooks. On the breakout, this side you can hook on, the other, this side here you can't. There's no spot to hook on. So, I kind of have plans for this seat cushion that I'm not going to talk about right now, but I don't want to remove these and lose them because somebody else may want them. But to solve the issue I was just talking about, what I did was just use the hoops, sit my rear peg down, and you know, run it over. Put it on the peg, then I close my peg because I don't have a, nobody riding behind me is my luggage. And then I just pulled it over and hooked it to the same side, tightened it down. And then Velcro to Velcro. And then I sat on it and went. If you're like me, medically, you know, I'm medically retired from the military and my civil service job. I don't have 600 bucks to spend on a Saddleman step-up seat, which is what I really want. Knowing, you know, looking at all the reviews of seats and all that, Saddleman's one of the best. And no, I'm not sponsored by them or there'd be a banner up aboard, above my, my man Hell's on two wheels there. And if I ever get sponsored and talk about a product, you'll know because that product brand will be up above there or to the sides, one. <laughs> but I will 100% I will recommend this product. You do get more mileage, your fatigue is less, so you get more mileage. Is it, is it better than a saddleman step-up seat? That I do not know because I do not have a saddleman step-up seat. I still have a stock seat. 
maybe one day I can speak on that, but until then, until I have one in my possession and ride it, I cannot speak on it because I do not know. But what I do know is this will extend your riding time, and I 100% gives this as a viable option to somebody that can't afford to go out and spend you know, five, six hundred dollars on a seat or more, depending on your bike and what kind of seat you get. So, if you like to ride long distances, you're looking for an option. I recommend this one and I have two more products that I'm going to be doing reviews on. I wanted to, I wanted to uh, give them each their own video. So thanks for coming by. I hope you liked the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and see you on the next one. Peace.